School children might be more used to learning history from textbooks, but it's probably a bit easier to remember facts when we see them live. Portsmouth's Groundlings Theatre turned into ancient Egypt for the day to teach kids about pharaohs, mummies, and the pyramids. It's a great way of making uh, kids aware of our past by bringing it to life. So it actually um, gives them all the different types of emotions and what people actually did in those ancient times. And it makes it much more memorable for them as well. So uh, live theatre is a fantastic way to sort of uh, bring history to life and to make it stick in their minds for later. The best way to learn, as actors are having to learn lines all the time, is to have a big emotional response to them. So by using things like comedy and tragedy in plays, it tends to stick in people's minds much more. So for instance, if I asked you, what did you do two weeks ago on Tuesday, you probably would have no idea. But if I asked you, what were you doing on September the 11th, 2001, instantly, because everyone remembers 9-11, they have a big recall of exactly what the weather was like, what they were wearing, what they were doing, etc. So all plays are doing is putting big emotional responses um, to make those, those facts stick in the, the children's minds. And when we get letters back off the children, it's amazing the detail that they put in to those drawings, etc. of all the memories that they have of seeing live theatre. And that's why live theatre is so vital for education. The building that houses the theatre was originally a school when it opened in 1784, and Charles Dickens was very nearly born here when in 1812 his heavily pregnant mother started going into labour in the Grand Hall. So it seems fitting that Groundlings Theatre continues its tradition of theatre and education. Often with a topic like the ancient Egyptians, it's hard to find something that everyone can access. Obviously we haven't got the funds to go to Egypt itself, so when you've got good actors and um, a, a good theatre company that can try and provide an experience for the children that lets them kind of know about a history topic but in a fun way. Real life experiences are the, are the best things for the children especially when it comes to when we're back in the classroom, if we're doing any writing, when they've had a tangible experience, they've got up on a stage, those memories will last and when their school days are over and when they leave us, they're the sort of things that they'll remember more than just a day-to-day a -day lesson that we've done in school. The play was followed by a workshop where the children became the actors and put on their own play. It's about sort of building confidence really, especially at that young age. It's sort of not easy to be confident and outspoken and to have your ideas um, not only like heard, actually taken on board as well. So it's nice to kind of give people that age like the opportunity to be more independent and go, look, listen to me because I might have a really good idea. So yeah. And having done uh, lots of them before, what we quite often find is that at the end of the day, a teacher will come up to us and say, oh, we, we never expected that that child would blossom yeah. in that way. Yeah, and it's, it's, really it's quite nice often the children they don't expect mm. that um, really sort of make the most out of it and they absolutely blossom in front of the audience. And mm. that's the last part of the day when they all put on their own shows for us to watch. We put our feet Yes, on. yes. We sit there, have a <laughs> cup of tea, a biscuit, and uh, they entertain us for an hour or so. Yeah, it was great fun. Having history class at the theatre is not something the national curriculum would allow to happen every day, but the facts and skills the school children learned as audience members and as actors will probably not be forgotten. This is Stephanie Bosset for That Solent.